Okay, so we have a much, uh, well, not much nicer, but, you know, very nice, cartoony, kid-friendly website. I mean, I figure we could all use a little bit of family-friendly stuff right now, especially with the chaos that's going on. Uh, in fact, it's actually 9.47 a.m., and, okay. Alright, so this may have been a glitch, because in the last video, this thing was showed at, like, minus 4.5%, which didn't make sense, because everything else was going up, so it's like, what the hell's going on here? Okay, and yeah, crude oil is way down. Alright, well, I guess Wall Street's gonna have to take some losses on their crude oil, uh, you know, thingies, but... Alright, and we'll see, uh, we'll see, uh, how the central banks play it today. Yeah, in fact, it's not as negative as before. This can't be right, I need to refresh this page. Okay, this is correct. Okay, so the debt markets are still imploding, but the Federal Reserve is still hyperinflating. Along with the ECB, so all right. I mean, when that when that inflation clocks in, but they are trying to take down crude oil prices too. So all right, we'll see how that goes. Okay, so uh, I have no idea what this project is. Uh, okay, so I th at first I thought this was a hybrid miner, but I might be confusing it with a different uh, project, which was the Satan-based uh, project, which I did not cover, right? And I won't. Because obviously it's satanic, literally. <laughs> so this is Honey Dog, so I like that. Nice picture. It is a auto compounding protocol on BSC, so I need to actually switch over to BSC. Done. Let's open the app. Okay, great. So I'll link to that. Alright, I'm not even going to bother looking at their thing. All right, so they are 1 million percent APY. Now, I do know that it's supposed to be like lock pay or royal pay, I should say. So hopefully they don't have that exploit. So let's see, what does your chart say? So, okay, very good, very good. So people are already going to like this project. Okay, so I need to actually link to the chart as well. So Dex Screener, BSC, copy, paste, kaboom. Uh, how about one day? How long have you been out? Okay, so this is good. So yeah, so this looks really, really good. Perfect. All right, perfect. Now of course it's eventually gonna come crashing down to its real price, like everyone else. But you know, yeah, it looks pretty good. You know, in fact, if you got in on the alpha, it costed like about three cents, right? Well, now it's you know you uh, made uh, seven extra money. All right, looks pretty good. I know it was a shy little puppy. Okay, I don't want to really read their story. You can read their story if you want. Okay, anti dumb. But okay, here we go. I just want to read their. All right. Uh, why does it say four to two percent? It should be okay. Well, I guess you can cash out two to four percent every twenty four hours. All right. I assume they don't have that exploit like LockPay did, which really annoyed me. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Honeycomb Protocol. The Honeycomb Protocol provides a backup for rebates and also ensures. Okay. Honeycomb. I might have covered this project before, but they don't have a link to Honeycomb. Okay, so we don't know what that is. So if there's no link, then we don't cover it. Marketing wallet primarily used to blah, 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 of course. So we don't need to read that. Uh, honeycomb protocol is 4%. Okay, so this is actually just their treasury. That's what, I figured it was a separate project, but this is actually just their treasury. Because this shows it right here. So it's their treasury. Yeah, go figure. Taxes are also pretty low at 10 to 12% buy and sell. We actually want this higher, but... All right, uh, they they have a much smaller APY compared to other. Uh, I don't even know what the term I should use is lock pay royal. I'm actually gonna start calling it royal pay because that's the one that works. You know, like a royal pay. So and I tell you, they're the one that has the, has the working code uh, right off the bat. Okay, and then blah 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 blah. All right, so there's really not much to say, and so far it hasn't rug pulled apparently. All right, there's a market cap of 220k because my stupid camera's covering it. You know, it's a small scale, really tiny project, but I mean, it showed up on Yada Crypto's YouTube, so I think these these guys should be pretty legit. And of course, it's on Binance Smart Chain. 
So if you're still looking for like Titano style projects with the anti dump, right? So I should say Royal Pay style projects, which are actually my favorite style of um, Titano projects nowadays. Yeah, Honey Dog looks really good. As long, again, as long as they're not a rug pull scam, and so far that's becoming less and less likely because it's been out for four days. And they haven't stolen anything, at least from what I can tell. Uh, yeah, this should be uh, this should be pretty decent. And obviously, their anti-dump seems to be working because I don't really see anyone doing the uh, wallet transfer exploit. So I just cannot believe how can you run a project and then not account for that? It's just like, man, I really wish Lockpay just didn't f it up, you know? But I mean, that's just how it goes. So anyway, I really want to go. I got like I gotta brush my teeth. I gotta go to the grocery store. Keep stocking up, right? I stock up little by little, right? and it gives me an excuse to just get out and you know enjoy the sun and exercise. So like, subscribe, share this video around. Uh, thank you again to all the old and new people watching this channel. Again, as always, I rely on you to spread the good word because uh, shit's about to go down. So the more that people hear my message and then maybe make a hopefully positive decision as a result, the more people you and I can help, because that's really what it's about, you know, so, uh, <laughs> cause bad, because the bad stuff is here, it's here, and it's only going to accelerate, all right, so we'll have our ups and downs, but the trend is going to be, you know, downwards, because inflation's not going away, they're actually making it worse and kicking the can down the road, so, I don't know, in fact, uh, I don't know, I'll probably just wait before I actually buy more SPXS, right? Because, you know, if we actually have, like, a bull trap and then people think over the next few weeks everything's solved and we get BAMO, the inflation report, yeah, I don't know, it may not work out so well. Uh, but on your hand, crude oil is going down and cryptocurrencies. I mean, that's the thing. I should be seeing, that's how you know there's something not right here. Why isn't crypto going up with the, with the NASDAQ at least? Uh, I don't know, man. There's something really sus going on. There's something really, really sus going on. Now they're pushing vaccine games. Wait, children's vaccines could be a game changer. That's what this headline says. No. no. Yeah, a game changer for who, though? Right? Game changer for who? All right, so before I go, I mean, that's pretty much it. I said most of the stuff I needed to say last video, and then, of course, in yesterday's video, which you need to go see. All right, the one about how to protect yourself from a stock market crash. I actually added that to the playlist of projects I'm invested in, right? It's that important, so, yeah. All right, crap, I'm starting to get hungry. Being a, being a human being is very cursed, right? It's like you just want to get your work done, and then all of a sudden your body's got to, like, just distract you. It's just like, yeah. Well, that's how it goes. All right, so happy Friday. Happy uh, Father's Day, again, to uh, Mike. I think that was your name, Mike. Yeah, Mike, all right, from your three, I assume, kids. So, um, yeah, I guess I'll just see everybody on Monday or Tuesday when uh, something, unless something hap bad happens or extreme. But, yeah, crypto projects are just kind of just like, meh. But I mean, that's okay. I mean, I really could use the rest, right? And I'm still draining a lot of my attention just watching the markets because this is history. It's the bad kind of history, but it's history nonetheless. I was just turning 18 or so when I was like, you know, 2008, 2009 rolled around and I got screwed by E-Trade because they wouldn't give me my money for like nine months. And then I completely lost out on shorting the market that time. And then I would have changed my life because I would have been living on my own. I would have had 40, 50 grand and... $2,009, and then I would have discovered Bitcoin. I would have just mined the shit out. I, I know for a fact I would be a multimillionaire today. Like, things would be so different for me today. I'm so far behind the curve. It's it's insane. And it's just like... <sighs> Man. Just, I don't want that same thing to happen to me. And yeah, like Greg Maynard has been saying, when this whole shit show goes down, the credit market's going to seize up. There's not Your transactions won't work. That's probably why E-Trade kept all my money, because there was just no money to credit me with, because the system locked up. I remember that distinctly. I, we, cover, I, we covered that a lot in my finance class back in college. All right, we talked. Uh, we spent a lot of months, actually. Well, not a lot of months, but definitely a few weeks talking about just that. So I remember distinctly, yeah, it's like, 
And I always wonder, how is it possible there's just no money in the world? That just didn't make any sense to me. It still kind of does not make sense to me today. But I just know that's just what's going to happen, right? A liquidity crunch, right? Especially if the Fed is actually following through on their threat to uh, actually lower this number. It's really twisted, right? They need to fight inflation, so they need to remove this number, right? Make it go lower, the money supply. But if you keep doing that, then there's no money to, you know, do basic functions like transactions. That's why this everything seizes up. So, so it's like, you know... I do not envy the Federal Reserve's job. I mean, maybe they're evil, but maybe they just don't really know what they're doing, like Chuck Barone said in his premiere video yesterday. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. All right. I'm starting to ramble, so. All right. Have a nice fire days weekend. Make sure you get some barbecue and, uh, or whatever it is you do on Father's Day. And, um,. Yeah, I guess I'll just see you next time. I think it should be Monday or Tuesday, but again, crypto projects are still just bad, right? There's no one wants to do anything. And of course, if we don't, if, if this trend continues, yeah, it'll just be like that. But, you know, I'll definitely, uh, you know, I might just do like a quick market update video just to make sure we have some kind of content. All right, but, you know, yeah, I'm definitely going to go relax. But anyway, check out Honey Dog. Looks pretty good. And, um,. Yeah, they don't seem to have that exploit, so it should be a pretty decent royal pay fork. Yep. Uh, thanks.